All right, what's going on guys? A little bit of a situation. This video you're about to watch is actually a re-upload of the video that I posted about four days ago of my attempted bench press max. The reason I've had to re-upload it is because YouTube, like they deleted it. That's never happened to me before because apparently there was like inappropriate content in that video when it was literally just going for a chest and shoulder workout and then some alpha stuff at the very end, some meal stuff like before the gym. So like, I don't really see why it was deleted, but I'm re-uploading it because it was my first attempt at four plates. It's a monumental video for me. So I thought I'm gonna repost it. You don't have to watch it. If you wanna re-watch it, you're more than Welcome to currently in the middle of making a new vlog. You know, you may recognize this house, you may not, but if you don't, you're gonna see it pretty soon because I'm in the middle of making another video. Yeah, we've got Christian on the floor over there, we've got Max over there, but you'll see that in the next vlog. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this re upload. Bench press, how to increase that shit. What's going on, guys? Brandon Harding here. Hope you're having a great day. We're just about to make a pre workout meal because we're gonna go to the gym. We're training push today. We've got shoulders, chest, and triceps. But today's video is gonna be primarily based on me sharing some tips with you guys that's helped me increase my bench press max. Bench press has been literally one of my weakest lifts for the longest time. My squat and deadlift have always overpowered my bench press substantially, but over the past year, I've managed to build up my strength on the bench press. So in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing a couple tips that I've learned over the past year that has helped me increase my max. So with that being said, sit back, relax, and enjoy this video. So then guys, before we do leave for the gym, in probably the next hour, there's a few things that I wanna talk about, and obviously we're gonna make the pre-workout meal, give it time to digest, and then head off for the push workout. This is what we're gonna be having before the gym. All right, so first off, we have our oats. We're gonna be having one leveled scoop, which is about 50 grams. We're gonna be having two broken caramel rice cakes in the oats with some mixed blueberries and a full banana sliced into the oats. We also have a monster to help us get through the workout, which is definitely needed. I was uh, so late last night getting back to all you guys' emails and questions, DMs on Instagram about the new Shredding with Hard Body app that released about a week ago. I released a YouTube video explaining and taking you through a back and bicep workout and the response from that, the amount of people that picked up the app from that video and a couple of Instagram posts and stories that I made, honestly, the first week I've released has blown my mind and obviously I'm spending all my time now getting back to all your questions. There is an FAQ page on the website that is linked in the description if you do want to pick it up. The 25% discount is only live for one more day until midnight, Cyber Monday. Yeah, I was up really late last night getting back to you guys, but um, honestly, I appreciate the support. Let's make this meal and destroy this push workout. So first up, we've got the oats. We're gonna have leveled scoop, which is about 50 grams, like I said. Just a little bit of water until they're completely soaked. 40 second intervals in the microwave until it's as thick as you want it. We have one serving of the toffee flavor drops by My Protein. Next, we're gonna have a handful of blueberries. And lastly, we have two broken up rice cakes. There we go. You can add other ingredients like peanut butter, strawberries, raspberries, protein powder, all that kind of thing. But we are sticking with this recipe for today. Just going to the gym, we're starting off this workout with some steps. We're currently 11 minutes and 20 seconds in. Gonna get off in a second. Usually as a warm up with a couple of steps, it's especially cold today. So just to get the body warm, we're doing some steps to get ready. Sipping on some BCAs and one more rep pre-workout because today is push day and we need we need a pre-workout to hit this one rep max on bench press because we are gonna be going for a PR today. We're gonna be following one of the workouts from the shredding up today week one chest workout which I think is on a Tuesday but we're just mixed and matching today so right now we're gonna stop this and get started we're gonna be using the week one chest workout and we are starting with bench press We're gonna be working our way up the plates. A couple reps on one plate, then two plates. Two and a half plates, maybe gonna jump straight to three plates from two plates, but my max is 160 kilo, which is three and a half plates. I've only got that once before in my life, but today we're gonna to try hit it again. 170 for a single, but I'm gonna work our way up the plates, and then I wanna talk a little bit about things that you can do to increase your bench press max in between sets. We 
jumping straight from two plates to three plates, but here is tip number one. Form is super, super important. You need to make sure that your feet are tucked back into the body. This will change your center of gravity, making sure that the weight is more evenly distributed. Second, make sure there's an arch in your back. This is gonna decrease the distance from the bar to the end of the rep. Tip number three is you need to fill your lungs with air before coming down and your diaphragm, when it's full, it will almost act as a trampoline when almost like you, you wanna bring it down to your body and you wanna almost bounce it off. Your rib cage, just not, I'm not about like bully yourself, but just use it as a little bit of a trampoline to help skyrocket that weight. I am not the form police. I definitely have a lot more to learn as far as like perfecting my form, but I've learned a few things over the past few years that has helped me increase my bench press. So um, just watch what I'm doing. And the final tip before we hit these three plates, make sure your scapula is retracted. This is gonna make the weight seem a lot more steady. It's less of a bodybuilding style of way to bench press, but it's definitely gonna protect you and make this lift a lot more steady. Get two reps. One sixty on the bar. This is my current max weight. So after completely butchering the first tip about form, like I know what I'm talking about, the second tip is confidence. You should always have a spot when doing the bench press because it is such a dangerous movement. If you drop the bar and hit your neck, you're gonna break your collarbones and you could you could kill yourself. The bench press is one of the most, if not the most, dangerous movements in the gym. So always make sure you have a spotter if you think you're gonna go heavy in the workout. Confidence is one of the main things. When you feel like you have a spotter, you have the confidence. You, it gives you more power and it's almost like a placebo effect. You just feel stronger in yourself. You, you, you almost believe in yourself more. So the next tip is confidence, which I'm gonna need because I've only hit this weight one time in my entire life. So yeah, we're gonna go for this for a single. And if I get it, we're gonna increase five kilo aside to 170. <sighs> I am absolutely baffled with how fast that went up. I was not expecting it to be that easy. The last time I did 160, I grinded that shit out. But considering the ease, we're gonna go four plates. It's been a dream of mine to hit four plates on a bench press ever since I was 16 years old. Like I never thought I would do it because I always thought the bench press was one of my weakest lifts. But now, if we get this four plates, progression is real. But uh, that's gonna bring us on to tip number three. Always change up your training styles. I alternate between hypertrophy and powerlifting. The Wendler 531 program is a great one to follow. Just Google Wendler 531 and read upon that program. It's a strength building style program working on 90% of your max for three sets. But um, it's a great program to follow. But obviously most of the time I am doing hypertrophy. 12 reps, 15 reps, four sets, maybe even sometimes eight sets on a bench press. But always make sure there's good chemistry between the two. If you're trying to build strength and muscle at the same time, Make it happen, four plates, four plates, four plates. Oh, look, at how, look how thick this is, this is so thick. Thicker than your mom's ass. Larry Wheels, I'm coming for you bro. Next, we're gonna see a seven plate bench press. Calling out Larry Wheels. <laughs> Probably the dumbest thing I've ever done. Just dribble a little bit right there. We're ready. Maybe I should have done 170 to start with and not let the confidence get to me. That was it. I absorbed too much of tip number two, which is what you can't do. Don't think you can do things that, you know, just because you're feeling good. Don't put stupid weight on the bar because it actually hurt my shoulder just a little bit. I'm fine, like I'm not injured, but yeah, 160. I'm, I'm not mad about it, but I'm still at the same max. Maybe I should have just gone like 2.5 up, which would have been like a five kilo increase and that, that's what a smart person would do. Tip number four, don't train like Brandon. You know what I don't like about white t-shirts? is that you can really see your nipples. Like I don't like it. Exercise number two, we're doing incline dumbbell press. After this I think we've got flat bench flies or some sort of fly movement. I specifically prefer flat bench flies and incline flies to peg day flies because it feels like the gravity is bringing the dumbbell down, which allows for more of a stretch on the muscle. I personally like a good stretch, but um, yeah, Whew, exercise number three. Moving on to 
shoulders now. We've got dumbbell shoulder press, side lateral raise, front barbell, lateral raise, and then we've got triceps, but uh, yeah, dumbbell shoulder press. Starting off with, uh, what, I think that was like 14 reps. More reps than usual, just to like get the blood in the shoulders. Gym is shutting pretty soon. Came quite late today, forgot it was a Saturday, but we've got the final exercise, rope, cable, push downs. With every single rep, we're gonna hold at the very bottom for a second and squeeze the tricep as if you're rinsing out a towel. Really think about squeezing the shit out of your tricep just to burn out. And to finish off, the music just stops. <laughs> Awkward. <laughs> We've been back from the gym now for about 10 minutes, oh, 20 minutes. Just made a post-workout meal. We've got steak, rice, and asparagus, and it's looking good. We have one steak, a whole packet of rice. That definitely looks like a decent mound of rice. And we've got four little pieces of asparagus. Now, considering nothing else is really happening tonight, other than the fact that I may go to the movies to watch the new Fantastic Beasts, but other than that, nothing else is really happening. So, I'll see you guys in the morning. Woke up this morning weighing in at 223.4 pounds. Like I said in my last video where I weighed myself, happily maintaining right now at around 223, 222 pounds. There's a UPS delivery outside that could be for me. I've ordered so much shit on Amazon for Christmas because basically I'm going back to America tomorrow. So literally today is such a busy day for me. I need to pack, I've got to wash clothes, I need to go get a haircut. I've already been to the bank this morning to sort out life insurance because obviously I've started my own company now. Ryan, was it delivery for me? Yeah. All right, <laughs> pretty heavy from Alphaly, which only means good things. We're gonna open it up right now and see what's inside. All right. Okay. I kind of knew a package was coming. I didn't know when or if it would come before I leave for America. At least I don't really have to like wash any clothes to pack now because I know what I'm packing. All right, so first up we have the oversized pink lifestyle hoodie. Always use their black premium bag. So they sent me the white one as well. And this shit is so fucking fire. Black duffel bag. I've got the green and the red one, but this one is a little bit smaller, a little bit more like easy to travel with. Dope as well. I've got two new bags. Then as far as all of this stuff goes, men's black camo underwear, men's long sleeve, a cut off tee in black, performance shirt in like a dark gray. We have an original Alphalete Aesthetics t-shirt with the black and gold writing. The Origin joggers in black, Origin joggers in gray, the Origin joggers again in burgundy, and then finally another pair of black striped joggers. And we got my brother over here wearing the whole striped set, doing his MBQ, trying to be a qualified personal trainer. Honestly, my dad and my brother are gonna end up wearing half of this stuff because like over the past few months, they've sent so much clothing. Like the new releases, you guys have blown up my link. So thank you. If you use my link over the Black Friday, you honestly killed it. But because they're releasing so much fire stuff over the past few launches, it's like I have just an unlimited amount of fire clothes. So it would be rude of me to not share it with my dad and my brother. I have such a busy day left to get through like I said earlier I was at the bank going through a meeting to sort myself up some life insurance Brandon Hardbody Limited is now a company we got it sorted the other day it's pretty cool to be like the owner like the CEO of a company like a brand which is myself and then in the future probably in like two weeks time I need to sort out some possession insurance because I'm getting my own place I'm apartment searching right now so hopefully gonna have my own apartment gonna move out of my dad's house still living in the UK I'm 21 still living at my dad's house not what I want to be doing, but um, yeah, with that being said, guys, I'm going to end this video here. If you enjoyed the video, please smash the like button. If you haven't already, join the Don Squad. Please subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.